Hello, N9 here. I'm making this video just to give a sort of short update on the channel and I guess what to expect from the future and a little I, a recap on things in the past. I, I've kind of left a few different projects indefinitely at the moment and I would definitely uh, <laughs> like to let you guys know about that and give a little explanation. So recently, uh, a little life update. I've been working over 40 hours a week, uh, every week, about six days a week. Uh, and apart from other like things that I'm doing all the time, like several D&D games a week and stuff, my time's been a bit limited to work on certain things. Now I started series like, like Grounded. There was between two videos and a few uh, more episodes recorded actually, uh, that I just haven't had the time or willpower to actually finish to be honest that same story pretty much for the Kerbal Space podcast as well unfortunately like that was something that Mark and I were super super excited for it became a lot because it would be recording over an hour of us talking and then I would need to sit and actually listen to intently everything and make sure that the audio wasn't too bad sounding and apart from that and actually acquiring recordings of those hour long things from each other, it just, it's not a good setup for the podcast yet. I can't, I can't really promise that it won't never happen. Well, if that it will never happen, uh, because it, it still was really, really enjoyable when, when I was doing it. Um, like if I can actually get to the point where we can do that sort of thing in person somehow, some way. Uh, it would be ideal, I think. We could have like an actual like podcast setup, and it'd be nice to actually have video along with a podcast like that. Uh, but yeah, possibly expect that in the future. But if you're holding your breath, waiting for the next podcast episode since forever, since months now that it's been, uh, it's likely not going to happen for quite a long time. Other things that haven't been happening for quite a long time, except for one recent video, was the N9SA Realism Overhaul save, and that is pretty much something that began this YouTube channel and that has been very much on like the back burner. Uh, however, I do have plans for its, and this might be unfortunate to hear for some, uh, its finale. It, it, it's it, it's going to be coming to a close uh, slowly but surely. We still have footage for a few episodes. We still have things to do on streams actually as well, but this the actual save has become very unplayable <laughs> like we're, we're launching rockets at several frames per second which isn't anything new for realism overhaul but it's on another level in this save and there are save breaking bugs that are happening semi-regularly and repeatably that i don't quite know how to resolve and I don't know, that coupled with just the realization that a lot of the things that I want to do in that save, the first Kerbal Space Program game just is not really suited to handle. So lots of things like massive rockets launching, complex vehicles, especially along the realms of hundreds to thousands of parts, and then take multiple of those. Right, take multiple of those and put them next to each other, different rendezvous and situations. It's just the game can't do it. <laughs> like even things like the Lucky Seven landing, making a small station of just a few like fuel pods, right, in orbit of the moon. The game just couldn't handle it. The frame rate was so bad. It was, it was still fun. It was definitely fun, but it's also just infuriating at times. So the kind of things that I'd like to do in Realism Overhaul, and I'll probably talk more about this in a coming RO video, it, we're gonna have to wait for the second game and we'll, we'll probably have to do similar things like in stock or waiting for Realism Overhaul. However, for the Realism Overhaul mod pack, that content isn't going away if you happen to be a fan of For All Kerbal Kind. Now, the next video in that series we left on a major cliffhanger was the moon landing. Both of us were just on the cusp of launching our 
rockets to the moon. The whole premise of the beginning of the series was this race to the moon, and here we are at the finish line and cut off for a few months. Like the last episode was a few months ago. It was in December, right? And I can I can say with confidence that we started working on actually getting those videos done. I think I'm a little bit ahead of Beardy. So Beardy's been doing a lot of university work, um, dance competitions too. Uh, other stuff, life stuff. Life stuff gets in the way all the time for both of us. We're right at the edge and that video is coming. I can't give you guys a date. I can't give you a date of when that is actually going to happen, but it's soon. Like for instance, I have the launch sequence edited right now and I'm slowly working on transposition and docking, uh, TLI, lunar stuff and back. I need to record some stuff. However, yeah, it's being worked on. Don't worry, it's not abandoned. And I have even better news with Feral Kerbal Kind. Like Kerbal Space Program 2 is right around the corner. It, nine days away from recording this, right? Like I said, the initial premise of For All Kerbal Kind is a race to the moon. However, as we've said, as we've mentioned in comments, we've answered comments that people have asked this before. People ask this a lot, actually. Is the series going to end? Uh, and we brought Carnassa on to the series before we landed on the moon uh, to like <laughs> provide further evidence for this. But no, no, For All Kerbal Kind is not ending at the moon landing. We are going beyond. We have the goal of landing on Mars, and we don't really know how it's going to pan out, if that's going to be a race to Mars, or if it's going to be a cooperative effort between all three of us to get to Mars. However, that is the goal, and that's probably going to be going all throughout Kerbal Space Program 2's early access, which, again, nine days till that releases, and... Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access is is going to probably take a long time, which is why I, I kind of find it silly that I just see so many YouTubers, uh, so many videos and, and posts and stuff that are like all these like cinematic and my final big Kerbal Space Program mission or the final KSP series or farewell Kerbal Space Program, goodbye, thanks for all of the fun. and. I, I, I think it's a little bit too soon. I think it's I think it's a little bit too early to say goodbye to the first game. The first game is in the best place it has ever been. We had mods like the volumetric clouds coming out. Parallax is relatively recent. Like that along with it being in a pretty relatively stable place. Like you, you still have all of the shortcomings that Kerbal Space Program has, that Kerbal Space Program 2, even with its bare bones state at its early access release in a few days, is planning to uh, like fill in. Um, there's, there, there's lots of gaps in the first game, performance-wise and mechanics-wise, that the new game is going to fill in at a base level, and I'm really excited for that. But even without that, like Kerbal Space Program has never been better. It's such a complete game with how many mods you can use. You can have endless possibilities. So... I, for one, am going to be playing the first game probably all throughout the Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. Um, I, I just think it's too soon to say goodbye. I don't think, I, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, like you do you, if you want to, if you want to leave Kerbal Space Program behind entirely, I completely understand because this new game is basically, it's basically a fresh slate, right? So a little note on Kerbal Space Program 2, like my thoughts on that, I am completely all for it. However, I also understand that some people feel a bit disappointed. Because here we are with, with Kerbal Space Program and all the things we can do, including colonies and interstellar and even, albeit really glitchy, multiplayer. Like, you have everything that KSP2 is promising already in the first game that's been around for over a decade. Right, and that's it's as stable as it's, it's as stable as it's gonna be. The Kraken's all over it, but we love it. Um, and then you have the brand new game that's been pushed back for several years and really hyped up and $50. And right on, right as soon as we get access to it, you don't have all of those features. You have a sandbox of the solar system you already have in the first game. And that has really, I think, turned some people the wrong way. Uh, we have people that are saying like, it's disappointing. And I completely understand why, however, Early access isn't the full game. You can't, you're, you're bound to be disappointed if you're expecting a full game out of this. If you're expecting a full release, a game that is feature complete, 
you're you're gonna be disappointed and you should well, you should probably just play Kerbal Space Program or you'll find yourself just playing Kerbal Space Program instead. However, if you are all for and understand the journey that early access is going to be, which is, it, it's laid out in the roadmap very nicely. It's, it's, a, it's a foundation and then feature added on, feature added on, feature added on as we go to make sure that everything is right. What it's going to be, I predict, is very bare bones at the beginning. However, for me, that's going to feel huge. Uh, something that's like been, been, I think, underestimated is the right word, is the, uh, is the user experience, the, the enhanced user experience of just everything. You have, you have the, the vehicle assembly building that is uh, workspace based and not craft file based. Working on multiple things at once, all of the different coloration options and enhancements that I think you'll be able to do, like procedural wings um, and other things of that nature. You have an improved map view, uh, you just improved like all sorts of different things. That is just something that's going to be huge. And I'm really looking forward to trying out the game one step at a time, like I said, a fresh slate. What's going to be, I, I, got, I lost my train of thought here, what's going to be is the foundation right away. And that's what some people are disappointed for, but I'm so excited about is that the developers are going to give that give us the game and they're going to wait. <laughs> they're going to wait for our feedback. They're going to wait for us to see, OK, did we do something right? Did we do something wrong? And we're going to be mad about it. We're going to be mad about what they did wrong and we're going to rejoice about what they did right. That's what's going to happen. There's, there's, there's going to be countless. There's just a flood of forum posts, of YouTube videos, of Reddit posts, all sorts of things about all the different things that we find in the game, the things we like, the things we don't like. And the developers are going to take that and they're going to, from their workspace, as uh, as the developers have said, they've been working in a vacuum. Nate Simpson said that in one of the videos. And now, just consider us solar radiation blasting into that vacuum. And now we get to play with it. We get to play with what they've made. And we get to see, we get to help form, inform them what we want as the players of the game. And then they're going to make the changes necessary to the foundation. And then one step at a time, they're going to add on new features and repeat the process. And that is something that I can't be disappointed. I absolutely love that. So as long as you are expecting that process, and know what to expect from it. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think that it's going to be an experience. However, if you just want the full experience just to play, don't say goodbye to the first game yet. That's all. And lastly, speaking of Kerbal Space Program 2 coming out on February 24th, uh, an announcement, which I probably should have stated at the beginning of the video, is that I will be doing a 24 hour live stream. I tend to do these every year and I wasn't able to do it in this holiday season. I put it off for this release and because I was busy at the time, but I'm gonna be streaming for 24 hours. When the game comes out, we're gonna try to explore as much as I can. And during those 24 hours, I haven't quite figured out the logistics of how yet. Uh, it'll just be like a simple raffler, but I don't know, like should we do one every so often or whatnot, um, but I'm gonna be doing three giveaways of Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. Uh, so if you head over to the stream, it'll be at twitch.tv slash n9 underscore gaming. Uh, we're going to have three of those games given away. And I think uh, by the nature of it, I might do that early on in the stream. I don't like I said, I haven't decided yet, uh, but I'm really excited for that 24 hour stream. I'm very curious to see where we can break the game <laughs> or or just experience the game all over again with a fresh uh, it's like a fresh slate, like I said. But anyways, that's all. Just a little update on the channel and Kerbal Space Program things. Uh, I usually don't do videos like this. But thank you all so much for watching. And peace out.